So there was some Kylie Jenner news that broke the internet. She finally gave us what we've been waiting for. And I'm, of course, talking about wearing a lion head on her dress at the Scaparelli show in Paris. A controversial fashion moment. I gasped for air. Obviously, Kylie went ahead and clarified in her caption because she probably knows that it will stir up some ish. She was like, thanks so much for making this handmade, man-made, like making it very clear to anyone coming from PETA that like this isn't a real lion, which I knew from the get-go, like no one would freaking do that, right? Yeah. It's giving taxidermy though a lot of people are saying it's like trophy hunting maybe it's just the nebraska boy in me when i saw this dress i was not like oh my god an animal head like gag like obviously kylie jenner's not a dumb bitch like she's not gonna wear a real lion head okay i just want to say colt that i did a poll and like 10 percent of people agree with you and 90 percent of people are like what the hell is that look if you're gonna wear a lion's roaring head on your shoulder you know this is the opposite of inconspicuous like this is like look at me write about me like i don't even know how she could walk with a straight face. There's a video of her trying to take a selfie, but you can't because she has a lion. <laughs> But I will say Kylie's hair and makeup, she's looking snatched, she's looking great. Irina Shayk was walking the show and she had the identical dress on. But I definitely am LOLing that Scaparelli threw Kanye West's ex in the same dress because they knew it was gonna cause some headlines. Oh. Irina over here just wearing, not identical, Irina's lion's mouth was open and Kylie's was closed. Oh, but the internet was really torn. And I think just like, take it for what it is. It's obviously there to be like campy and provocative and like sensational and make headlines. You know, that's what it is. We have found out Kylie's baby's name that we've been, I don't know, waiting for for almost a year. And we're all nonchalant over here talking about Paris Vagin week, <laughs> right? Well, that's the thing. Y'all have been waiting for over a year. Kylie Jenner told me the name months ago. Okay. I mean, what did she mean when <laughs> she just did this? Ha. There was just air in my ear. The baby's name is Air. The baby's name is Air. Rewind. Kylie randomly last week dropped her baby name in a few carousel slides. <laughs> they were very normy looking pictures, which I appreciated. There were no violins. <laughs> No. Right? We finally got the name. The caption was very simple. It was clear as day. Actually, that's a lie because no one really knew how to pronounce the name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, we've been questioning this name for almost a year and then she gives it to us and we still have questions. I know. It was so wild because we were like, is it airy? Because then it could be like stormy. Stormy? Airy baby. But you know what she did called? She clarified. Kylie commented, it's air. Heart. TikTok is going crazy. They are. People are saying that it means penis in Arabic. I mean, I dated an Arabic guy and he never once told me that. And I think I would have known. <laughs> so uh, this is news to me. Well, a source told E! News that it does stand for Lion of God. I speak Hebrew. It literally doesn't mean that. Who's the source? A lion is Arie, but it really doesn't mean air doesn't mean lion in, in Hebrew. Google it. It doesn't. If anyone finds proof, DM me. <laughs> I mean, I think you need to take a breath of air and chill out because this is what Kylie Jenner <laughs> is telling us and that is what we are going to believe. Okay. It's so confusing I to be honest. I am feeling lots of feelings right now, but I'm also on the first day of my period, so... Is that why you're wearing red? Yeah. Last week, Kim spoke at the one and only Harvard University. What, what like it's hard? hard? Legally brunette. I also love the reference to the Harvard thing because remember that year she dressed up as Elle Woods and made that whole video. I thought that was one of her most iconic Halloween costumes. And I also love it because really Kim, as we know, is such a businesswoman, and this really validates her as such. Speaking at Harvard about your business, like it was Harvard Business School. Harvard Business School had Kim Kardashian come speak to a class that had an assignment based on skims. I mean, it's a billion dollar business, honey. On Instagram, she actually said it was one of her bucket list wishes, which like, good for you. Skims is really like, deserves the recognition that it's getting. And I'm sure that meant a lot to her to speak at Harvard. You know what people used to say like, oh, just wear Spanx. Now people just say, oh, just wear skims. Like a it million became percent. the word to use for shapewear, but as always, people were hating and even tweeting things like she can't even spell Harvard, which is like, 
This is what pisses me the F off. And I know everyone says I ride the Kardashians, but there's nothing wrong with writing, by the way. Can we just like never let these girls have the moments for us? Like, let's just let the fans enjoy. She's a billionaire. Her business is epic. Like, she really is changing the game. She's a marketing genius. And I love that when Kim was at Harvard, she was spotted with cameras because that means we are going to get to see this on the show. The question is, what season? Because we know watching the show, the Kardashians timeline is completely effed up. On season 17 of the Kardashians, you could tell she was just so excited. This wasn't another day for her. She may have missed out on Dubai for this. So obviously this means a lot to her because you call her a reality star, an influencer, whatever, and she'll take it. But at the end of the day, she really, you know, wants to be known and values herself as a businesswoman. So to have Harvard value you as such must feel so good. Okay, so what are your thoughts about Kylie's fashion statements and her baby's name? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to check out all of our past recaps in case you missed them. And don't forget to subscribe.